today's episode, we're going to look at a very sensitive and tricky question. Is Christianity just a white man's religion? Now, if you visit any cathedral in this country, you will notice at least two things. Impressive buildings and magnificent arts on stained glass windows. Now, usually these arts depict major historical figures of Christianity who are all portrayed as white men, including those from other ethnic backgrounds. Ever seen the popular description of Jesus Christ? A blonde-haired, blue-eyed white man. Now, this is what is popularly known as the whitewashing of Christianity. However, there is another painful reality which makes Christianity seem like a white man's religion. Slavery. Long before um, black and white Christians came together to oppose the heinous institution of slavery, some leaders from different Christian denominations actually used the Bible to justify the enslavement of black people. In this case, the good news of Christianity, which promises freedom and equality for all people, was compromised and weaponized to enforce racial inequalities. Colonialism then came to the scene to codify racial hierarchies by exploiting the efforts and programs of the missionary Christians for imperial expansion, making these missionaries allies in the process. Today, the effect of slavery and colonialism continue to scream at us daily in the form of systemic racism in our present institutions. So, the argument goes, the whitewashing of Christianity and the historical injustice perpetrated by some white people under the guise of Christianity implies that Christianity is perhaps a white man's religion. But here's something we need to admit. Any good thing can be misused and abused. And that is certainly the case for Christianity, which unfortunately had been used by some white people to oppress other groups of people in the world. Yet, that does not discredit the global orientation of Christianity right from its beginning. The same way that scientists who manufacture atomic bombs for nuclear destruction do not necessarily discredit the importance of science and technology as tools for human development. So, here are some reasons why Christianity is not just a white man's religion, but good news for everyone. First, Christianity started among communities of people in a non-white setting somewhere in the Middle East. Contrary to the popular description of Jesus as a blue-eyed white man, Jesus would look more like an olive-skinned man from the Middle East if he were to live in the 21st century. The Bible records the story of real people who lived around the Mediterranean, Middle East, North and East African regions. Second, the beginning of the Christian church, a few months after the death and resurrection of Jesus, was composed of men and women from different nations across the Middle East, Africa, Asia, and Europe. So, long before Christianity became co-opted by a band of white leaders for political gains, the Bible records that Christianity was a religion for all people, regardless of their social status or ethnic background. Third, the early Christian leaders had a reasonable number of people from Africa and other parts of the world who contributed significantly to the recognition and development of foundational Christian teachings. This includes leaders like St. Augustine, Athanasius, and Clement of Alexandra, who were all non-white theologians from different parts of North Africa, whose writings inspired later generations of Christian thinkers from Europe and North America. Currently, Christianity is a major global phenomenon, much more than it was when it began in the first century. It is widely dispersed across the world. It is transcultural, not a preserve of one culture or one race, where non-white people constitute the majority of world Christianity. You might object that people in other parts of the world who had been oppressed through slavery and colonialism, might have swallowed Christianity as an opium, a kind of stimulant to dull the pain of the existence. 
No, in fact, the good news of Christianity is not an opium or a drug to dull the pain of the oppressed. Instead, it is a steadfast hope that is built on a true historical reality, which satisfies our deepest longings for justice and equality for all people across the globe. The Christ of Christianity came to redeem and reconcile people from every tongue, language, culture, and race, whether white, black, or brown, and everyone in between. In doing this, Jesus does not give us a religion that is exclusive for white people or one particular race. Instead, he gives us a faith that is good news for everyone from any culture, class, or ethnic background. You can check out these facts and judge for yourself. We are the Gate Church.